Welcome back to RimWorld. My name is Tobel. Let's finish off this awesome Scrooge McDuck vault. Uh, because I wanted to have a vault down here to haul or to keep all of our silver. Obviously, it has to be three walls thick at least. Um, you know what? I'm even going to be <laughs> super wasteful. I'm going to make a sterile tile floor uh, just to prove that we're that rich. Because that's what I think Scrooge McDuck would do. So, this room's only is critical uh, that we accept... Only raw, let's see, we'll do uh, silver and gold. Perfect. Okay, so this is going to be our little room for uh, all the steel. Why? I don't know. It's just, it's fun. Our miners are busy trying to explore to find some new steel veins, which is really important right now because we're really, really low on steel. So we're trying to get our, our excuse me, our steel stocks back up and running. Now, I could continue, and in fact, I might continue the... I guess the base building in this general direction. What if I put down a quarry? Do we want to do a quarry? I'd mentioned it before, and I think it might be useful. I don't really know what to expect from it. Uh, quarry platform. Where are you? Are you under production, probably? A large pit for digging up long buried resources or a mini quarry. I mean, I kind of like the idea of it should take up some space, right? I mean, I don't want to cheat the game. That's really huge. Wouldn't that be too big? Like, wouldn't that collapse uh, the area? I honestly don't think this could fit anywhere without collapsing the ground. Okay, maybe I totally said I'm going to not cheat, but then I'm going to cheat. Because um, I don't think we could actually fit that in here. Let's do a... Let's cancel a couple orders here. Make sure we don't bring the entire mountainside down on us. We'll combine this out. So let's drop a... Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's drop a mini quarry and what we'll do is uh yeah we'll actually give an order for people to work in this room i'll make it a second room and i'll extend the hallway out farther ellie has an inspiration for what artwork is she our artwork person our artist yeah she has a really high art skill you know i didn't do i didn't give her the ability to make any art projects let's just put one down here that's from when uh, we had a couple people get injured from Boomalope, so they must have dropped that at some point. So, let's put down this art bench. Where'd it go? Sculptor's table. Uh, we'll do that right here. And I'll even, I'll really be nice and I'll shrink the zone so that she doesn't have to work in front of it. There we go. Perfect. So, uh, she'll be able to work on some art projects. What else do we have going on? Everyone's moved back in. I'm currently trying to drain the swamp, as it were. And uh, we're trying to get this little section cleared up. And then I'll close the gate in and we'll put down some soil. In fact, uh, I'm curious to see how this looks. So let's go ahead and test the soil thing. Let's drop some soil down here. I think this is already is soil back here. That's why we can't do it. Stony soil. Fertilization, 70%. So, in that, on that note, can we put tile? Oh, we can. We can till the soil. Interesting. Let's see how this looks once everything is installed. Uh, we don't have any auto cannons up yet. We probably don't have enough components yet. Actually, it looks like we don't have enough steel. We're really low on steel, and these auto cannons are going to eat up quite a bit. Good job, Azazel. Look at you clean. Why are you cleaning? What do you? Don't you? You know, research. You must not have anything to do right now. No, you really don't. Um, why are you cleaning there, though? Oh, our home area settings. Let's remove some of these home areas so that people aren't cleaning in strange places. We don't really want them to have to worry about the outer wall. Um, I mean, if it's on fire, they'll protect it. The steel I'm not too worried about. The wooden area here, of course, is our weak spot. I still don't know what to do about the defense in this particular location. I was thinking about, it was we mentioned last episode, we could make a little tunnel system, or we could just not build the, the steam geyser here. Uh, maybe wall off this entire section, remove all the farmland, and turn this into like a crazy solar farm. We just dropped down like say a ton of solar generators. Lots of options there. But we can experiment. Right now I, I like the idea of having, you know, one primary entrance to the base. Would they now would they choose this though? I guess if the door if the if the path were open, they would try to go to the route of least resistance. And really we have one door here. To, you know, you know, between us and the inside of the base. So 
I'm guessing our enemies, I haven't seen any raids since we built this, uh, we've kind of deconstructed everything. On that note, by the way, I want to go into the options. Let's bump up the Storyteller difficulty. I think I'm going to go, ooh, I don't know what Merciless is. What is this? What is this? Have I seen Merciless before? I, I feel like I've seen Savage, but I don't think I've seen Merciless before. Ooh, fun. Um, we'll drop, we'll, maybe we'll bump things up to Merciless right before we end the series. Like, maybe that'll be the last thing we do to see how long our folks can survive <laughs> before we all, uh, we all die a horrible, horrible death. I still like our living quarters. I think this looks really nice. Is this all home? Yeah, this is all home area. I'm gonna trim up, I don't know why. There's no, there's, like, not that they can't go this way anyways. Uh, so it doesn't really matter, but more of a preference thing. We'll just clean up some of the home settings here. Remove a couple of these wall settings so they don't go outside in the middle of combat. So right now, though, we have a way to get into the back side of our, our base. So we've got, we can start experimenting, exploring, rather. Um, hey, is this a, um, a spot that's going to be bad for us? It might be. Someone's going to come uh, mine some steel from here in a minute. Hey, look, lots of nodes of steel exposed. Nice. Hey, while you're here, go stand right there. Oh, not an ancient danger, huh? Okay, that's cool. That's good to hear. We'll mine out this little section since I just happened to see it and this whole area. Look how much steel. There's steel everywhere. Nice. Okay, so I don't think we're going to have too much of a problem catching up to our steel quotas. I suppose we could put down a gate right there. Do we want to go the route of what I mentioned before? Do we want to maybe mine this out? And have a kind of an escape route? Or do we want to just have maybe a secret tunnel that we can... Maybe we go out this way instead. And we don't cross the river again. That's not a bad idea. Why don't we, why don't we look into that? Let's do... Uh, we'll mine all the way to here. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll have this as an escape route if we need to. Um, this is still reinforced by... I will add a couple more gates in just to make sure it's really a strong protected area. Uh, that's a fence, right? Yeah, so we'll replace that with a gate. Uh, hey, we got a new recruit. We've angered the League of Colon twice. But I finally got Squinoba. Uh, this was just a random person I found. Are you going to change clothes right away? That's kind of cool. I like that they do that. They, like, immediately, like, gear up. Well, now you're running around naked, so I'm, I'm guessing we don't have enough clothes for you? That's a bit odd. Why don't you have clothes on? You have pants but no shirt. Do we not have any nice shirts available? Oh, a lot of these shirts are of poor quality. I think I'm going to have to go back and set my cremation bills again. Yeah, we do have to do a couple of these. We'll do always burn corpses if they are not our colonists. Got it. Uh, let's always burn. Always, 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 always. Okay, let me do this real quick. So we want to burn any of our quality, any of our uh, clothing that is not, um, that is poor quality. Or we want to burn it if it is of low hit point value. We'll say something like, don't they, don't I have them taking off clothes at 65%? Let me check the assignment tab. I made, let's clear that for us. I don't know what I made him do earlier. Standard is 51%. Okay, no, we'll just burn anything that's 51% or below. There we go. That should clear up a couple of our meh quality items. And that should trigger the... Oh, you know what? We, we probably have to reset some of these orders, too. Oh, no, we don't. Nice. I'm glad that actually is still there. Um, so they do have to make a couple pieces of clothing to catch everything back up. Good job, Regina. Look at that. Look at Patricia go, guys. We have a couple of possible breaks soon. Michi is always in um, under the mine, so he's always pretty much grumpy. Sorry, she's always grumpy. Ugly environment, cabin fever, you've been insulted, you're in pain. Yeah, okay, sorry about that. Oh, that's right, you're a nudist. Ah, uh, do I really want to make you run around naked, though? It's such a small negative to have somebody always have armor on. Yeah, it's, it's just a negative three. Honestly, I'm not too worried about it. What do you, uh, why don't you like your room? Why did you sleep in the cold? Is this considered cold? 16 degrees Celsius is uh, considered cold for them? Let's see what Byrota feels like right now. Slept in the cold. 
Okay, well, that's annoying. Let's go ahead and do a bunch of vents in the bedrooms. I'm gonna put vents behind... Yeah, we'll just do this. We'll tie everything into the main hallway. We'll kind of have all the vents pass air. It should equalize everything. And then we'll put um, two heaters in the hallway here. We'll see if this heats up all the rooms. It should raise the temperature enough. It's only a couple degrees. Apparently, that's just... 16 degrees is just far too cold. I honestly thought 16 to like 25 or so was comfortable. Can we tell uh, what their comfort level is by just seeing human? It's your maximum comfortable temperature. I don't know what your prefer. you know, is there like a preference temperature? No idea. All I know is you're, you're grumpy. Ooh, how many kills? Hey, who's our best shot? Azazel. How many kills do you have? Holy crap! <laughs> Azazel's murdered everything! <laughs> Azazel has killed 12 human-like people. 12, 12 humans. That's really impressive. What's your accuracy? Uh, 560 shots fired. That's pretty awesome. I love these stats. These are actually really cool. Switches flicked. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Okay, so this area is now exposed, so let's put down our mini quarry, because I don't think the big quarry is going to fit, truth be told. And I will mine, I will um, wall this off. I think I'm going to give it a bit extra room on the side, because we want to have... Gosh, we're so low on walls. Let's put down a, a sandstone wall so we don't use more steel. Oh, how big is... Isn't there like a quarry platform that I, I, I saw? that um, workers will haul resources to. Yeah, preferably near the ladders. Oh, should I rotate this around? Okay, let's do this. Let's cancel this. Uh, we'll go back to production. We'll mini quarry, we'll move the ladder. Hard to see it, there it is, that's on this side. And then we'll put our platforms right on either side of the ladder. Does that work? And then we'll put the wall right here. And this will be our quarry room. I don't know if it needs to be enclosed, honestly. I don't think it does. Uh, the rest of our base is fairly secure. Yeah, if, I mean, if someone, like, digs up, you know, if the bugs show up, you know, we're not going to lose our minds if we happen to, unfortunately, lose some of the quarry. That's no big deal. So, unhappy nudity, you're still grumpy because you don't have clothes. That's fine. We should have some new clothes made relatively soon. Oh, that's right. We need to give you work. We need to give you a job. I'm going to eventually change this person's name to someone um, from our subscriber list. Uh, we're going to take everything off, honestly, and I just want them to do nothing but clean and haul. That is that is literally going to be their life. Because that is a very vital job. Not saying it's a bad thing. But we really need to have people always doing that. Oh my gosh, look at the components we have finally. We are achieving harmony with our uh, component amount. We're starting to build up that little stockpile of chunks here. As a, a barrier for people to walk over. I still don't really know how the moisture pumps work, to be honest. I've not seen them in action yet, for the most part. So I don't know if it takes weeks, or if it's just going to be a couple of days. It says, uh, how does it say? It says it's, um, current radius is 0.4. I'm guessing that's just how far from the pump will be dry. So as soon as it goes to 1, or 2, maybe that, that'll include both areas around it. No idea. I'm a little bit concerned about how exposed we are into the tunnel network, but I think at this point we could retreat back into the base and set a pretty decent trap for any bugs that come visit us. So I'll keep an eye out for that. Uh, how are our, our doormats? Are they actually collecting most of the dirt here? I think so. I need to add down a one more floor. I think any floor that's not um, any flooring that does not have a cover on it, like, a, a, you know, actual constructed slabs or something, has a chance to drop dirt. So, by removing all that from the base, hopefully, we're going to be removing how dirty everything was getting after a while. Slabs everywhere here. Uh, the medical room was actually coming in handy. I watched someone get hauled in, heal, uh, hauled in here earlier. And immediately everything worked out. The doctor went right into the room, grabbed the medicine, came back out, and everything was fine. So that was exciting to see that working as, as it should. I'm going to say medicine has a stockpile of 20, actually. And you know what? I think I want to put pie... Uh, what's it called? 
neutronamine down here as well. Where's neutronamine at? It's under uh, manufacture, possibly. And I'm going to mark this as critical. So neutronamine is going to be stored right below the drug lab. And that should always have it being... Yeah, because look how far they're going to get that. They're going all the way up here, which we don't need. Uh, is chem fuel for some reason not in this list too? It is. It's This is preferred and this is what? Nothing? Okay, so we just haven't grabbed these particular items yet. I'm going to expand this little section up a little bit. Because just in case we start to get more uh, or different types of resources. Otherwise, I think this is looking pretty good. I'll probably get an order to smelt down some of our weapons at some point, too. Like, kind of the crappy weapons. We could, I guess, leave them for sale, but... No, that's fine. I like how this base is looking. How are you? Are you happy with us? Hey, someone's having a party. Uh, we should put down... Can we, can we choose where the party happens? Party spot. Designates a spot for throwing parties. I mean... I suppose this is fine, right in front of the TV. This looks so much- this is so cool. Um, so we have an extremely impressive rec room. This does uh, entertainment value, I believe. It just gives them happiness for uh, recreation. I, I think we have enough outdoor activities to prevent anyone from getting cabin fever as well, so hopefully that's not going to become a problem. So we're getting more components. This is vented, right? So we're not building up heat here. What about this room that I mentioned? This is up to 99 degrees, but it doesn't... Well, this room is noticeably warmer than anywhere else. So I think some of the heat is coming through, but not enough to really cause any problems. So that's good to see. The party is finished. Well, that's a hell of a fast party. Okay, well, fair enough. Uh, how are you doing on food? We have a lot of food. Uh, or do we anymore? Ooh. Oh my, we've actually gone through all of our veggies. Okay, well, that means that we need to go back and have a bigger focus on farming. Hey, the soil's working. Very cool. All right, let's actually drop the soil here everywhere, then. We'll drop this across the entire area, even though we can't quite do it here yet. Once that gets done, I'll do tilled soil. And we'll start building um, some veggies inside. We'll start doing some internal... Um, not quite hydroponics, but we'll have an internal grow room. What do we have a lot of? What don't we have a lot of? We've got... How much cloth do we have? We have one stack of cloth at 750. Uh, we have plenty of beer, I think, at this point. Right? Don't we have, like, we've got two of these full, and then we have a bunch of extra. It's not going to hurt anything to keep more of it, though. So I guess we'll just keep making beer. Uh, so we have beer growing. We have hops growing. I don't think I have any vegetables growing. <laughs> I just have heel root and uh, beer. <laughs> okay, so we have 193 heel root. Let's, let's slow down a little bit. We could do... All right, we're going to change this over to, um, we'll do potatoes on one. And we'll do cotton plant. We don't really need that much cotton. We'll do potatoes on one. We'll do corn on another one. Uh, we'll do rice on another. And I guess we'll still continue to have this as our hops field. Someone else, though, needs to help with growing. So only right now, Adnamir is helping out. So let's do, uh, Worms are digger, but is, when he's not digging, we could have him grow. Although I think if we have the quarry done, people are going to be doing the quarry all the time. If they have the... the yeah, that's right. It is, it's literally a job. Well, we could do it like this. We could say, mine when you need to mine, help out with growing, and if there's nothing to grow, go quarry. That sounds fine. Azazel, you're our researcher, obviously. Let's just say if there's nothing to research, you'll help out growing. Logan, if there's ever a chance that there's not something to build or create, then we'll give you that job as well. Ah, uh, do I want to take her off anything? We don't have any other growers, though. She's supposed to be our hauler, but I mean... In theory, if all these are planted, and the more people that we have working on it, the faster it'll go. Let's take everyone off research here, because everyone's working on that. I'll tell you what, let's, let's have everyone do planting here. Uh, wrong side, sorry. It is this one? Where'd it go? Grow. Oh, damn, all these people suck at it. <laughs> all these folks are bad. Um, Michi, you are a miner as well. We'll give you the same type of order that Worm has. You're also one of our smiths. Uh, by Rhoda, you are doing what? You're cook. You're one of the chefs, so you're obviously doing a lot of work there. Elena's helping out with that as well. 
I'm going to give this like a 5. So if anyone finds themselves without a job, before they go cleaning and hauling, they're going to help growing. That that should help with the planting issue because right now it's just it's pretty much Adnamer trying to do as much as possible. Hey, we got pulse charge munitions. Uh what does that let us get? Ooh, charge rifle and a charge lance. Very cool. So a charge rifle needs two advanced components and 50 plasteel. So can we make plasteel at any point? Like steel and um, components somehow? Let's take a look at the research tree here. So I don't see any way to make plasteel on its own. Do you guys? This is uranium slug turret. Ooh. Armor penetrating uranium slugs. Less effective at close range. Why don't we add this to our queue? Because we have plenty of uranium, I believe. We've got, well, we've got at least another chunk in the wall that we haven't exposed yet, or we haven't taken out. A lot of this is the final, I think, the end part of the game. Let's go ahead and do regenerative medicine bionics. Uh, do we want to do anything here? What does this let us do? This is an AI manager. So we wouldn't have to... What it sounds like is we don't have to worry about anyone doing management anymore. I don't know how much of a priority that is, though. So yeah, okay, we need to keep an eye out for, for options to get Plasteel, though. Because Plasteel is going to become our bottleneck really quick. So anything with a job or with a... With the reward of Plasteel will probably be something we want to follow up on. Don't one of you guys have... Yeah, you want to give us an AI Persona Core for more Fire Foam Shell. I don't think we can make this in time. You want to give us an Arcotech Leg for Molotov Cocktails? Okay, how much is a Molotov Cocktail for recipe-wise? Uh, where do we actually build that? Wow, there's a lot of stuff in our uh, our options now. I just saw it. There it is. Um, 25 cloth, 80 chem fuel. Chem fuel is going to be the restricting part there. And unfortunately, now that we don't have any vegetables to spare, I don't think we're going to be able to process that as as uh, as easily. Okay, let's leave that alone then. We're not going to get the Arcotech leg just yet. We'll be able to make our own legs soon enough. Our pretty fancy legs. Michi's pretty grumpy, of course, because it's always dark. What's our power situation like in terms of... Yeah, man, that's really exposed. Um, we can come up with a better option here, can't we? Can we drag this along our railing? That seems like a pretty decent uh, way to bring some power to everybody. Of course, you know, we need more steel, but we're going to be getting... As, we get, as we're getting steel, we're basically just dumping it right away into different projects. That's fine. I just wanted to have another way of power getting back to base. Because this line is really exposed. We could also snake it through the, the tunnels right now, but I'll wait until we have something happen. Oh, Michi has Sad Wanderer. Sad, sad. Uh, nice. Hey, you found a compacted machinery. We haven't seen that in a long minute. Uh, it's probably a, a square of four. We'll get that. Komodo has enjoyed her stay. She left us a bit of herbal medicine. Thank you so much for your visit. And your patronage. Did you leave us some monies? Did you buy our beer? No, not quite. Okay, fair enough. Oh, have we moved any silver into our... Uh, yes, wonderful. <laughs> our silver is, is moved into the Scrooge McDuck room. And yes, I will in fact drop a ceiling light just to make sure we can gaze upon our wonderful stacks of money. You're still trying to work on that one piece of uh, marine armor. God, that was... I started that project a long time ago. We have enough. We're a little bit short. No, do we have enough? No, we're a little bit short on Plasteel to finish all four turrets here. Can I force Logan to start working on this? Oh, we actually need Steel to even start it. Okay, that's fair. Are our animals becoming a problem with food? Are they helping us to clear through too much? I think we can catch up to it as long as we get our... Um, as long as we put our, uh, we start getting vegetables back down, I think we'll be able to catch back up to everything. We still have orders. We still have a manager giving us hunting orders, I think, right? Or do we not have... Yeah, we still have hunters. 
I, it looks like no one's been managing for a while, though. Who's our manager? Oh, it's Emily. Okay, let's have Emily do this, and we'll also have... I'll tell you what. Let's have both Azazel and Emily do the managing. Now, they're not going to... Before, I had Azazel doing plant cutting, so he would designate jobs to do, and then go do the job instead of, you know, doing something else. Okay, cool. So he's going to do the managing. Make sure we've got a lot of hunting... Uh, probably set, designate a bunch of hunting orders. We have our cows, of course, but they haven't had too many little babies yet, so we don't have a stock of animals. We could try to get some mega sloths. Why are, what in the world? Where are you going? Why on earth are you hauling this slate chunk? You're crazy. You know what? I'm going to reduce the amount of auto doors we have, I think, because that's right. I forgot that they they need to get replaced with components every so often, and that's going to be really, really annoying. Uh, Michi has collapsed due to extreme exhaustion. And then apparently Michi's fine. Okay, fair enough. Uh, so you're still naked. You still need clothing. We have just enough beds for everyone, unless anyone breaks up. <laughs> if anyone breaks up, we're going to be in trouble. Uh, we have to make another bedroom real quick. You know what we don't have is anything for prisoners. Not that I ever really keep prisoners around, but... Well, we haven't, you know, we haven't even had a raid in a long time from, um, like anyone that's like a, a group that we could even, uh, imprison. Where can we put that? We could stick that off the side here. I don't think it's really a priority, though. I'll keep our jobs off right now so that we, we keep the, the stress off our builders so that they can get uh, working on other projects. We still have a bit more flooring to do, or no? We finished the flooring. Can you remove this uh, roof? It's really awkward. Maybe? So, who's helping? Oh, Byrota's helping plant. Nice! We have all of our stuff planted now. That's wonderful. Uh, we're doing hops in the back row, corn, potatoes, and rice. That should help out with our lack of veg uh, vegetables right now. I don't even think we need any heal root. Let's go ahead and do something like, I don't know, strawberries. Why not? I don't know if that's really needed or not, but we'll put them down anyways. The base looks really clean, so hopefully we shouldn't have any complaints about that. Is it really cold in here? I keep seeing people like their breath come here and there. Oh, by the way, did we ever finish? No, we didn't. We have no steel because we've not been able to do any of these jobs for vents yet. Hmm. I might have to micromanage some of the steel, because I, I think we need to get the mining quarry thing going first, before anything else. Uh, let's see, let's do this. Let's let's suspend the component job. Who gets our first powered armor, by the way? Nice. Does it require, like, Actual power, or no? Light-powered armor. I don't see any kind of a recharging requirement. So it's uh, 124, 51, 62. 124, 51, 62. What is, um, I don't know, what does a shirt have? Oh, wow. <laughs> that's crazy. I mean, that's just a shirt, obviously, but that's still really, really strong. Do we want to give it to a melee person and have them start charging in, or do we want to have that on someone like Azazel, who has our crazy architect eye? Azazel's becoming like the hero warrior of the group. Let's have Azazel equip this marine armor. Do we want to upgrade him to... S oh, you know what we could do is, uh, is somewhere down the road, I could order... What are you working on? A minigun? Oh god, when did I start that job? ages ago. We could do a sniper rifle. Just one. Uh, let's actually remove the old bolt action job. And it's going to require 60 steel and 8 components. Now, the components aren't a problem. Obviously, steel is. Can we... Do we have enough steel maybe to start this project? Ooh, we do. Okay, I'm going to give Logan the order to work on the quarry. I think the quarry is going to help us out long term. Adnamer has a price bonus on his next trade deal. Well done, you inspired fool. We have some stuff that needs to get built. What did I make this out of? Sandstone? Are we out of sandstone blocks? No. Yeah, we've got tons of sandstone, right? Isn't this all sandstone blocks right here? Yeah, we have a, we have a bunch of that. 
I wish we could make like a little cleaning robot. I'm sure there's a mod for that, like a Roomba. You know, like just a simple Roomba to go up and down our hallways to clean things out. Let's uh, toggle the power on these guys off for a bit. I don't think anything's going to, you know, tunnel into our main hallway. I think if they tunnel anywhere, they're going to come into a room more than anything else. Are you still working on the... Uh, no, I want you to halt to this, my friend. This is what's important. Now I feel silly because we finally have enough of the sandstone blocks to probably make some walls. I wonder how much a wall would take. Let's see. This whole section of wall would cost us... Only 150? Shoot, I should have waited and built these all out of uh, stone walls. That's okay, that's fine. Maybe one day you'll just come back to the episode and I will have very stealthily replaced every single wall with with uh, sandstone or slate. <laughs> you'll just never know the difference. <laughs> that's my goal. Just to be just to be sneaky enough. Let's wall this off, actually. I want to wall the this room off, just in case anything comes out. We'll also give a mining order here. Hopefully none of this is going to collapse anytime soon. That's a lot of work to do. I need to drop some power down here too so that they can see in order to do all their fancy quarrying. Ceiling light here. Nice. Okay, so what does this do? So what options do we have? Um, quarry resources, chisel blocks. Okay, so right now it's set to quarry things to be mined, okay? Um, hauling mode, what? What does that just mean... As they bring them up, I think they're going to haul them somewhere else. It's going to be really annoying if we just get nothing but chunks, though. Yeah, we'll just make do. We will make do with what we've got. I really stripped this map pretty uh, pretty clean. There's some, there's some uranium here that we've not exposed or really gotten into, and I think there's some uranium right here, too. Uh, why don't we mine some out? In the event that we do go for the uranium turret. Or the, what is it, uranium slug uh, turret. Maybe we should, uh, let's wait on these orders then. And actually we'll see if we need to replace those completely with uranium slug turrets. And that might be an option too. Uh, what is this? Once the quarry has been deconstructed... What did I do? Did I cancel this somehow? Oh, shoot. <laughs> we destroyed it. Oh, no. How much steel did we lose? All of it. God dang it. Um, yeah, I should have waited until the wall was built. I We had uh, had an order to mine, and the mine basically destroyed... Uh, sorry, the, the walls didn't have enough support, so everything fell in. And the roof collapsed and destroyed the quarry. That is awkward and frustrating. Uh, my fault, though. I think I even saw that coming, and I just still was like, no, I'll be fine. Put down a door uh, to this room, and I will try to fix this problem in a minute. Crap, I'm, I'm bummed that we lost that much steel. How much was that for the the mini quarry? 50 steel? That's not bad. That wasn't horrible. Um, we have to have the walls built before they will... We, we can mine this out, or else it's just going to fall on itself again. Hey, cargo pods, please have class steel. Hey, wow. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Much appreciated, RNG gods. Thank you for listening. Okay, one of these has been built, so I think we can have them mine this out. Well, it's just looking pretty good, guys. I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap the episode here. I like how the base is looking. I am uh, pretty happy with how everyone's doing. I'm curious to see... What the challenges are going to be in the next couple of episodes. I believe I'm also going to change it from having uh, Phoebe Chillax over to Cassandra. And if we're doing okay on Savage, we're going to jump down to Merciless and see how that works out. So the next couple of raids are going to be pretty intense. And I think what we're right, right now, the worst thing that can happen, <laughs> and it's going to happen because I'm mentioning it, will be those... Um, those slugs that have the auto-firing, like the automatic, uh, these things, uh, we can build them now. The, uh, where'd it go? Yeah, the charge lance or the charge rifles. I think this one is like an automatic, isn't it? It fires a single shot at high velocity. No, so maybe we can't make those yet. But it's the one that's like an automatic version of that charge laser. So, that's the most dangerous thing for us. I'm a little worried that we don't have enough, um, 
enough armor for our people, so maybe I need to focus on that over time. But again, we're really tight on steel. Uh, we're tight on a lot of resources here, so I don't know if we need to look into going to different areas or to try to get this fancy long-range mineral scanner or what. What does this do? It finds it just finds the resource. Well, how much does it cost to build? Steel goes to you know go figure. Let's actually drop it down. You know what? I'm I'm complaining about all this stuff, but we need to do it. Wait, we don't have enough steel to even put it down. Okay, fair enough. I have to have steel. Oh, it has to be outside. Well, that's interesting. I guess let's just put it over here, if it needs to be outside. And then as we have steel, I guess we'll start building it, and maybe we can find more places, and then we can go use our fancy. Um, transport pods to go jump somewhere. So thank you all so much for joining me for this episode of RimWorld. Until next time, take care.